Guam Election Commission Executive Director Maria Pangilinan says the GEC has started its new candidate seminars for the 2020 elections, which are held every second Thursday of the month, 2 p.m. in the Commission's offices on the second floor of the GCIC building. The seminars aim to ensure people who seek elected office are playing by the rules. And Pangolinan says most of the newbies have money on their minds. Pangolinan is saying common questions include how to open an account and if they're required to open an account. And the answer is yes, if they're going to receive contributions from other, from other uh, folks. Um, if they're going to have a fundraiser, they need to open a campaign account. Um, they need to segregate the campaign money, the campaign contributions. They need to have a dedicated account for all campaign contributions. She also says candidates wonder about what they have to disclose and what the limits are for accepting contributions from businesses. We uh, emphasized on um, corporate contributions. All corporate contributions must be reported and that corporate contributions is limited to um, fundraising tickets up to $500 per candidate uh, per fundraiser uh, with a maximum of $1,000 for the primary election. And after raising money, Pangolinan says they discuss the right way for candidates to spend it as well as the wrong way. Appropriate expenses are, you know, if you're going to buy lumber for the signs, um, if uh, you're going to uh, print fundraising tickets. And while funerals are a popular stop for both candidates and elected politicians, Pangolinan says leaving a little something for the family is a big no-no. Inappropriate expenses include sensuli. You cannot um, donate to uh, medical fundraisers. You cannot donate to nonprofits. All campaign contributions must be used toward the promotion of his or her candidacy. And what that means is, you know, vote for, vote for Chris Barnett, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, all ads should say vote for um, Chris Barnett. She reminds new candidates they must file their organizational reports once they spend 250 bucks or more on their campaigns. As soon as they start campaigning uh, for 2020, they, would, they should file organizational reports uh, within 10 working days of, the, of when the threshold, when they hit the threshold of $250. And if candidates don't file those reports? Their packet will not be accepted here if it's not complete. Um, it would be up to the commission, the board, to decide um, on, on uh, fines, on what we do with those that file late. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.